Here's a quick recap to part one of this story. Hello. Hello. Uh, Mr. Thomason, can you do the magistrate court? Uh, uh, you ready to proceed with your hearing? Yes, I'm here. This yes. Is a free child. This is an aggravated assault charge. The defendant had engaged Mrs. Thomason from the house. Isn't the defendant Thomas? Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, excuse me, um, Your Honour, um, um, I've never put in any plea of that at all, Your Honour. I have always well, that, played... that is what's written on the record, by um, I don't know who, I don't know who wrote that, Your Honour. Stop for a moment, no. please, Mr Thomason. There's no allegation of injury. The charge is simply assault. I have not been supplied any video footage of myself assaulting John or David Gibb by the police or John or David Gibb in the last 18 months. All I have right, not uh, received... I think we might just set the matter down for trial. Have you given disclosure? It's been five yes, a time yes, for more um, than I have... the ma- Be quiet for a moment. The matter is not going to go on for a six, seven, seven, eight I know it. I don't want it to either. I don't want it to either. Have the prosecution complied with disclosure or not? No, they have not. All right, well, I'm sending the matter down for trial. If he fails to appear at trial, I will be at trial. Be issued, and he can be arrested in Western I, Australia. I will be there, Australia. Your Honour. I will tell be at the me, trial. Uh, don't speak over the top of the court. Please right. tell me. I will not conduct hearings on a phone with people speaking over the top of me. Now, what have you provided, Sergeant Hill? A lawyer acting for you, Mr Thompson? Um, South Australian Legal Aid gave me uh, two lawyers. The first lawyer... Um, I never got to see, never spoke to, because apparently he is dying of cancer and never had time right. for me. The second lawyer, um, Archie Pittaway, he, oh, just, yes. he just refused to turn up at my last hearing. He just did not turn up at all. Legal aid was approved. Uh, the first lawyer was unable to act due to a cancer diagnosis. Supposed. Not that I've ever uh, been they, proven. The second lawyer, Archie Pittaway... Uh, was allocated to the case. However, the defendant maintains that uh, he uh, did not attend at court hearing. Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen from now on, um, Sergeant Hill. I'm going to direct the prosecution to provide disclosure to Mr Thomason in Western Australia. He will be given an opportunity to look at it. Whether he's represented or not, this matter will be set for trial. If he fails to attend at trial, he'll be arrested on a warrant in Western Australia, possibly extradited here to face charges. So I will, what I will is your appear, address, Your Honour. What is your well, I think we'll, we'll set the matter... Uh, down for a hearing with a direction that the defendant is required to appear in person. If he fails to appear in person next time with or without a lawyer, then an arrest warrant will be issued. Can I say something? What's the next date, please? 27th of September at 11.30am. Now, I'll note on the file that the defendant appears to be deliberately obstructing the process uh, of this matter being set for... The matter is set down 27th of September at 11.30. The personal attendance of the defendant is required. The defendant has been advised that should he fail to attend this hearing on the 27th of September at 11.30, a warrant for his arrest will be issued with police bail excluded. Uh, This matter has been uh, in the system for many months and mm, that the court is the takes the view fault. that the defendant is deliberately obstructing I am not deliberately uh, doing these anything. proceedings. That is the order, your choice, whether to come... I will be there, Your Honour. Can I say something? Anything, Sergeant Hill, thank you. Can I, have, can I have say something before you, ha- before you hang up, please? All right, do you have prosecution to provide copies of the material on which the prosecution intends to rely at trial to the defendant at Australia 6280 on or before the 22nd of September uh, 2024 at 11.30am. Mr um, uh, Thomason, I hope you receive the material. Can, if you're not here in court on 27th of September 11.30, 
an arrest warrant will be issued with police bail excluded. We don't need to hear from you further. Mm. Thank you. That completes the hearing. Excuse Anything me, Your Honour. Can you, I just Hill? ask for yeah. some right, information? Thank you. That completes the Excuse hearing. Me. We'll terminate Why can't the call. I have thank my you. say? Why can't I have my say? And then just hangs up. This footage was supplied by the victim to the police and was only recorded on a cell phone. And the original footage wasn't provided. Me as an amateur editor spotted something fishy with the video of this evidence. Take a look for yourself in slow motion and you tell me what you think about Craig and Mr. Gibbs just appearing out of thin air. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. This is an audio call with the police prosecutor and photos of the evidence from Craig's defence in his case. How are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. Uh, did, sorry, did you get who was ringing? Yes. 
Yep. Yes. Good. Um, yeah, basically returning your call. I believe you've been trying to catch up with us. Um, <laughs> thank you for the uh, attempts. We um, do have some stuff uh, that we could send you, but um, we've um, previously sent it to um, Mr. Sanchez. Is is he? Um, um, he's, he's forwarded what you sent him, but that's not what I'm requesting. I'm requesting the actual recording of the interviews of everybody, not transcript written by the police officers involved. Oh, you mean like of the, uh, the complainants, videos. like the people that work there? Yes, I want the videos of all everybody they interviewed and all the interviews they've oh, yeah, given yeah. me well, in they, they don't uh, record their statements. They, they just type... Uh, onto a, 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 on a, on a computer. No, no, what? no, no! Don't give me, don't give me that rubbish. My interview was recorded. Yeah, you, that was because you were the defendant. That's, well, that's why always the case. Be. That that doesn't prove anything. Writing on a piece of paper does not prove anything. It's they can write anything statement. they want on a piece of paper. That doesn't prove a goddamn thing. Well, that's just how it is. I'm sorry. Well, I that can't change well, that. well that's fraudulent because that's fraud because no. you cannot prove that that is what they said. Well, they that, sign it. That, that doesn't mean anything. They they can it change They it. sign it to say it's a true and accurate record of what they said to the police. <laughs> well, then, John Gibbs is a liar because all the video that you've shown me, have sent me, doesn't show me assaulting that man with fists at all, as he claims. No, what it does um, show is No, that... well, then he's lied to police. That's called perver perverting the course of justice. Lying in an interview is perverting the course of justice. Yeah, well, that's where that's where we come into and try and sort it out for you. Like, I mean, I, I don't have any friends involved in this. I'm just a middleman, well, and I'm, well, I'm happy to. They've, they've handed over a, a, a photograph of an invoice, and yeah. John has not supplied any video footage that shows him doing one second of work at all. So that yeah, is that's inadmissible. Not, that evidence that's, should not even be no, brought up. That's not what this is about. This is about an assault, not not the work I'm that he did or didn't to, do. I'm allowed to defend myself and my property, and that's all I did yeah. against the man who stole my property and a son that assaulted me while I was defending yeah, so myself and my property. Not, it's actually not true. It um, is true. Uh, you he can't stole assault my someone keys just out because of the car. You, you, no. Yes, he no, did. He had no, no you, right what, to touch my property. What you're doing is you're getting uh, civil matters mixed up with criminal matters, okay? okay. You've got to separa separate but them. his son assaulted me first. No, well, I was protecting son... my property. No, Don't no, no, tell no. me he was allowed to assault me when I did it, nothing to his father. Uh, he, no, you did. You grabbed him by the throat. That was the after son... his son assaulted me. No, his yes, son... Yes, it was. No, Don't well, I've seen the video. This around. I did have not, you, I did have not you seen grab him by the throat. Before I was assaulted by David Gibb. Don't you, you seen the photo? make this my fault? Hang on. Have you seen the video? Yes, I have seen the video. I was present. Right. I know what happened. Yeah, well, I've seen I've the video. I've got a different video to what you sent Shane Sanchez. A total yeah. different video that goes for eight to ten minutes. And now you send him a video of three minutes. Anyway, um, John Gibb even admits in his statement that he took my keys and he believed he had the right to. He had no right yeah. to. That's theft. Yeah, that is a criminal offence and he was saying, not no, charged. It's not. You, you, you do really need to see a lawyer to have someone describe it to you. You really are no, flying blind he here. he stole my keys. That is a criminal offence. Why wasn't yeah. he charged with a crime? Okay, do you know what a worker's lien is? I don't care what a worker's lien is. He had no right so, to touch my property. He had so no right know, to touch my property at all. He had to contact the police to get that lien. He has yeah. no right. He no. has no right. And his son had no right to put his hands on me and lie to police. He has said that I was punching him with uppercuts while we were wrestling over my keys. And I have not received any footage of this at all. None whatsoever. So Are he has lied. That's called perverting the course of justice, lying in an interview to police. That is called perverting the course of justice. And same with David. David has lied to police during his interview. He signed that statement and he has lied. So don't sit here and tell me that they didn't do anything criminal before I did. That is total lies. Yeah, I'm sorry you see it this way, but... I know, uh, I don't see it. It is the way it is, not the way I see it. It's the no, way it happens. it's the way you see it. It's the way you see it, I unfortunately. It, no. No, yeah. he so are you stole getting my a property. Solicitor, no or are you right going to be representing yourself in court this week? 
Yes, I will be. And and all your evidence is inadmissible because there's are nothing you, to prove any of it. You are you going to be here in person or by phone? No, I will be turning up in the court. Oh, that'll be good. I appreciate yes, and that. And I will have witnesses to come and sit in the court too. Yeah, that, that's great. Um, you you guys are perverting the course of justice. He's allowed to commit crimes. His son's allowed to commit crimes, but I'm not. No, not that's at all. double standard. No, you're getting civil stuff mixed up with no, criminal stuff. No, it's not civil. Stealing is a crime. It's not a civil matter. It's a criminal offence. Assaulting think me and telling lies is a criminal offence. Were you going to pay him for any work that, that he did on your car? No, because he didn't do any work. He sat there. You tell him to prove he did two hours' work. If he's so innocent, why hasn't he handed over two hours' worth of footage? Hmm? That's it. Why would you hide two hours of footage yeah. if you're innocent? Because you're you not innocent. That's the only reason. It's called the... perverting the course of justice yeah. by lying during an interview. Yeah, I think you should be having this conversation with the magistrate in court. Well, I've tried, and the magistrate doesn't want to hear it. No, it's because you're ranting too much. You need no, someone it's to, not. to be it's civilised. That is the fact. You need to be civilised about it, though, Craig. Oh, I have been civilised. This has been going on for 20 months. I've had enough. This has gone beyond the point. No. He was not entitled to touch my car keys at all. He was not. And I am totally entitled to defend myself and my property as the law state. Uh, and David you... Gibb had no right to jump up and punch me. No right whatsoever. That is assault and that is a criminal charge. And yet you don't see it as criminal? So, yeah, do you remember grabbing him by the throat? That was after, way after, when he no. was outside extorting money out of me. He was going, no. I'll give you your car keys back if you give me the $400 and I won't call the police on you. Why won't he show that bit of video? Him and his son were trying to extort money out of me. And then that's when I grabbed him by the throat because he refused to give me back my car keys. And I'm allowed to defend myself. And I used anyway. less force than they did. So I did nothing wrong. That's your laws, not my laws. This is your laws. These are anyway. the laws. There you go. The police prosecutor just hung up on Craig. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Laters.